Well, hello again, YouTube. Good morning. It's Petey Two Finger. I'm here with a recommendation video for you all. Another one. Yesterday, we had a Spotify playlist to music that revolved around a band called The Raisins from Cincinnati, Ohio. So if good music is your thing, check out yesterday's video. Today, we're moving on to a topic. I'm in a good mood. I, I watched, I've been watching these movies made by uh, an Italian film crew, an Italian film studio. These are low-budget B-movies from the 70s, 80s. There's some, some of them go back to the 60s when they were doing spaghetti western type stuff. Uh, you may have heard of this movie called They Call Me Trinity. I have heard of this movie. I don't believe I've ever seen it. Um... I was made familiar with this duo uh, with some movie, a super cop, super fuzz maybe, and it's it's bad. These movies are turkeys, okay. But as I'm as I'm older, and I'm looking for something to watch every night. And I'm not going to stoop to network TV. I'm sorry. I know there's some good shows out there. Finding the good shows for me has always been a challenge because often I will get I will get into it. And I just can't believe that a, an African-American female cop is going to take down... Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, can't, I can't handle network TV. I can't. Uh, the last thing that I watched was that WandaVision, and it 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 was so horrifically bad. Um, I felt offended to be a human being. Anyway, mo moving on, let's not focus on the negative that we, we know there's bad TV out there, because there's always been, that's yeah, a consistency. These movies have an undescribable charm for me. And I find them entertaining, as well as a lot of other people have found them entertaining. Now, when I was younger, you know, even 15 years ago, I might not have been ready for this. Um, but it clicked with me now. I, I, I went and looked. I found their list of their best movies. So I'm starting at the top, I'm not starting at the bottom. And I, I think they made like 35 movies, something like that. So yeah, Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer. Titles of the films, uh, Go For It, Watch Out, We're Mad, <laughs> Odds and Evens, He Who Finds Treasure, He Who Finds... A friend finds treasure is about. I haven't seen Go for It, although I I, I watched the the uh, beginning credit roll, which is a guy roller skating on a, a two lane highway, and the soundtrack music was reminiscent of uh, like you you'll see elements of pop culture of how they adapt different themes and different things. Um, they they had they had a motorcycle gang, but they were uh, they were employing C CB radio, and they have a boss who's got uh, what supposedly is a base station, but was much more uh, technical, looked like Italian army equipment, and some phony circular antenna, but. He was able to clearly speak to his whole group of 10 uh, motorcycle bad guys who have uh, large microphones mounted off their handlebars. And they're just clearly communicating. <laughs> this is the type of, the type of physics that exists in the Bud Spencer <laughs> universe uh, that I love. Anyway, uh, these movies... <laughs> They always seem to uh, find themselves in some sort of trouble, usually involving the mob or some sort of organized crime. They're Italian movies. It's a lot of the same guys. So you'll recognize the same actors. They're dubbed. 
And the, the, the voiceover actors that they choose seem like they're all from New York. Because there's kind of a... Some of the words are pronounced for comedic effect with a thick Italian accent. Other times it disappears. Uh, there's a theme of uh, beans, eating beans, unemployment, gambling, any kind of racing, especially when gambling's involved. But you might see nuns, you might see an orphanage, you might see dolphins, you might see all that in the same movie too. <laughs> uh, the Getting back to the music, there's this Watch Out We're Mad, which is, uh, they win a dune buggy and they both of these guys they're not they're not friends in the movie they're kind of, they kind of meet and they, uh, usually typically that's the theme of every movie they'll they'll meet in the beginning and the the portly gentleman doesn't like the blue-eyed guy that's another theme in the terrence hell bud spencer universe never trust a man with blue eyes you got some weird looking blue-eyed actor and he'll always be up to no good <laughs> This is racism in Italian cinema. So they they have a contest over a dune buggy and they end up both winning it and quickly, somehow or another, the mob ends up destroying their dune buggy. And the rest of the movie is them confronting the mob. We want our dune buggy. And the mob goes so far, Donald Pleasance is in this one serving a role of an advisor to this ridiculously obese uh, and retarded, just dumb uh, mob boss. And in the course of this movie, they're paying one of the best hitmen in the world. Like they've already gone through and jumped through a lot of hoops and done a lot of illegal things uh, rather than just give them a dune buggy back. Uh, they hire the world's most famous hitman, Paganini, and pay him uh, a huge, a handful of money. Which, uh, I, I, at one point, it must have been someone on the crew who said, wait a minute, why would, <laughs> why would they spend all this money? These guys didn't do anything to, to the mob. The mob did something to them. This doesn't make sense. So they actually, they address that. They come so close to the fourth wall, Donald Pleasance. And anyway, the, the currency uh, of the Terrence Hill uh, cinematic universe is a, a fist fight. It's this, this it's that sound, uh, that sound effect. <laughs> because every uh, conflict is resolved by fistfights. It's always two guys versus about 35. The more guys, the better. And if you can, like, identify them as being together by, let's say, putting a red flower on the lapel of each one of the bad guys, that <laughs> that's one way to trim the budget rather than get them all matching suits. But there will be a couple of guys in matching suits, and those will be those guys will be dealt with as a pair. <laughs> Bonk, one, one of those. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, th this is it's lowbrow, but it's wholesome. There's there's never any like I'd hate to say like oh I'd show these movies to a six year old, but I would. Like, if I had my grandkid over here and I didn't know what to do with him, I'd, I'd be like, we're, we're going to watch uh, I Want My Buggy or whatever it is. The music in these movies is so bad, and, and in particular that Buggy uh, movie, there's this really catchy music that they play, like it'll be silent, and then all of a sudden... Boom, boom, boom. Dun, 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 and this theme will play. It almost sounds like a Pepsi commercial. And I could not understand what they were saying in this uh, because the the musicians that they hired uh, were 
or Bulgarian or something. <laughs> I don't know. They couldn't speak English. And they're singing in English, but their accent is so thick. You can't understand. <laughs> oh, it's like they're saying, come along with me, take a ride in my buggy. Come along with me, take a ride in my buggy is what they're singing. But it, their accent is so thick, you can't. I couldn't. I didn't hear it. I, I went and watched a, uh, I, we watched the movie last night, and then today I was emailing my little brother to turn him on to these movies. And I clicked on the preview, and in the preview they've turned the master vocal mix way up. So you can hear what they're saying, and there's no, there's no, it's not buried under a bunch of sound effects uh, and slap noise because <laughs> uh, they play they played it consistently now in in that particular movie um, what you should do if you if you want to experience these movies there's an IMDB list of the best of them so the first one well let's let's go and take a look um uh, Here we go. Odds and evens. Navy detective enlists his brother, a former gambler, to help him liquidate an illegal gambling house on a yacht near Miami. Watch out, we're mad. After tied in a first place in a local stunt race, two drivers start a contest to decide which one of them will prize a dune buggy. But a mob, when a mobster destroys the car, they are determined to get it back. Crime Busters, Double Trouble, Go For It, Who Finds a Friend, Finds a Treasure, Miami Super Cops, They Call Me Trinity, I'm For the Hippopotamus, that one, I bet that one's going to be great. In Africa, two expat brothers are usually at each other's throats, but they now have a common, common enemy. Orman's men are shooting and catching most of the wildlife for export, as well as forcing the locals off their land. Lots of gunfights, lots of fun fights follow. Excuse me. And I, I've got to, I've got to uh, uh, stress, uh, the, the fist fight stuff in this movie is, that's the one consistency. There's going to be a couple of big fist fights in these movies, and there's going to be music playing. And it's real comical. It's not like close the kids' eyes. There's violence on TV, but I mean, is this not the worst type of violence where that where it's just uh, professional stuntmen pretending to fight over catchy music, where it really makes it look entertaining? You know, I don't know. I can't answer that question. All I can tell you is I have found entertainment, and it is Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer. The blonde, blonde, uh, blue-eyed guy, yeah, whatever. He's something for ladies to gush over, I guess. My man is Bud Spencer. He's hilarious. He's just, he's just so angry all the time. Uh, he, that guy, he's not Brutus from Popeye. I kept thinking, this is the guy from Popeye. You play, who played Bluto, or do you call him Brutus? And I even went and looked it up, and there was a an image. There's this like e image of Brutus, this animated thing, um, and they had his name under it. So I was like, oh, that he, he's the guy. And then I looked it up, and it's it's a lookalike. It was a different actor that played Brutus and Popeye. It was not Bud Spencer. And when you look at him, you can tell, yeah, he looks a lot like him, but no, it's not the same guy. And then uh, a fact that I learned, there's another video, a really good video. It's not just Petey sitting on a sofa stuttering. There's a well-produced like primer on these guys' movies, so you should check that out. Uh, that is, I mean, you know, you, you have to be... Like I said, 15 years ago and going all the way back through my life, I, I've seen this stuff before, and I didn't like it. 
it was bad. It was just like, this is horrible. Like, I saw that Miami Super Cop or Super Fuzz, whatever that movie is. There's some movie, it used to be uh, uh, on... Uh, one of their movies involving this guy who was a cop. And it's, it's Terrence Hill. And my wife was familiar with it because she used to watch it on HBO. HBO used to play the same movie at the same time during the day. So if you were a kid, you, you know, you'd put on HBO, you'd see the same movie every day. So she was like, oh, I know this movie, uh, Super Cop. And I was like, oh, no, that's, no, no, no. Like, it, that's bad. You know what I mean? Like, it's just bad. But uh, for whatever reason, when I uh, tuned in that first night, I didn't really care what I was going to watch. Like, you know, it was my, it, my option is like to watch some documentary about something that I absolutely do not care about or a bunch of other, like have to try to find some 70s movie to watch. This came up and I watched it and I was thoroughly entertained. Although my wife didn't watch it. She was doing her thing. Uh, she's been doing some ancestor research, finding out information about her uh, relatives. So, yeah, she chose to opt out, but eventually she's come around because I've, I've been watching them nonstop and I plan to continue watching them until I've worn it out, you know, probably a few more because I, I I know as they get closer to that f where they're getting fives on IMDb, I might not be able to handle it. And there's 35 of these movies, so I'm gonna get sick of it at some point. But um, there's a musical scene in Watch Out, We're Mad, which is great. And I don't know, I like my immediate thought was I need to cover this. Like I need to figure out a. a if Gompty can play the bass on it and, and then, you know, I figure out the guitar part and we can do it. And that piece of music is called the Fire Firefighters Choir, I think. Fireman's Choir. Firefighters Waltz. It's a better name for it. But it's not, It's I don't think it's... Uh, it's like 2-4 timing. It's not three four so yeah it wouldn't be a waltz but anyway the the music is bad um uh, fist fight the popeye logic of just smash something if it's bad that's very much the order of the day but they're wholesome movies they're wholesome there's never any adult content in it there might be pretty girls. There's some scantily clad women running around in the background. But it's never... Uh, it's the type of thing that you could watch these movies with your grandparents and they would enjoy them just as much as you would. And same thing with a six-year-old kid. That's what I love about these movies is the universal appeal. I did I did become aware of the fact that other studios were hiring lookalikes and making rip-off so I need to find out about that. I'm definitely going to check those movies out if I can handle them. At least find out about them. So my advice to you is if you're not really familiar with the stuff or maybe you've seen some of it, you already know. And you'll know whether you like it or not. But you should start at the top and work your way down because the, the movies that are rated the highest, are they're, they're bad movies. They're not good movies. I got. I gotta just be honest. They're they're B movies, you know. And for a long time, like I didn't, I wouldn't have anything to do with this stuff. And now, now I'm I'm digging it. So I don't know what that says about my personality, but uh, it's because it is kind of weird, you know. But I, I guess what what it says is never say never. All right, you guys. Enjoy and peace.